Is there anything we're missing? Phyllis, you got the lights? Yes, I got those cute little ones. Do you think I should have gotten the big ones? We'll see. All right. Let's count it down like Rockefeller Center. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yay! Yeah! Not great. I'm sorry, everybody. <sighs> I think the tree looks nice. Hey, I... When should we bring out the cake? 1 or 1.30? One One's good. 1.30. One Phyllis, I need you to pick up green streamers at lunch. I thought you said green was whorish. No, orange is whorish. Okay, we only have three hours, people, to plan a whole luau. You're not helping. What are the ingredients of poi? I called every grocery store in Scranton and no one sells whole pigs. Did you try the petting zoo? Isn't 7 p.m. a little late for a lunch party? Lunch party? It's supposed to say launch party. What is wrong with you? Angela is worse than usual lately, and we have a party to throw. So I googled how to deal with difficult people, and I got all of this. So we're going to try out some new things today. So how do you feel about the fact that the banner says lunch? I feel angry. Angry at you. Angry at you for doing something stupid. Angry at me for believing you could do something not stupid. I'm so sorry to hear that. That must be awful. It is awful. You've made this day awful. Maybe you could just change the U into an A. Then it would say lunch party, Kevin. Would it really be better if it said lunch party? Oh, lunch party. It's supposed to say launch. OK, wow, easy booster seat. Nobody cares about this party anyway. I care! Plan a party, Angela. Oh, and the entire world will see it. Oh, and here's $65 for your budget. Oh, and here are four idiots who'll do nothing but weigh you down. Oh, and your cat's still dead. I asked for assorted cutlery, and I got back spoons. These are worthless. I want to understand what you're saying, but it's difficult for me when you use that tone. Phyllis, these are spoons. Spoons have rounded tops and are used to scoop things. What we need are forks, which have prongs or tiny spears on top. And we need knives, which have blades. Do you understand me now? Yes. Goody. You can pick one of these things. It's unreasonable for you to ask me to do all of this. It should take you no time at all if you put the care into it that you normally do. Ow! That seemed to shut her up. I want a party that makes me feel like I am flying through the air without this ugly weight holding me down, you know? I want an anti-gravity machine. I saw it in a movie. You drink a potion, and then you just start floating all around. So how much anti-gravity potion do you want? No, no, you know what? This is not a party planning committee anymore. And I don't want your foot money, and I feel uncomfortable participating. Phyllis, can you do this? Yes. Hi, are there any local companies that rent anti-gravity machines? Anti-gravity machines? That's right, yeah. What do they do exactly? They make you feel lighter. Anti-gravity. Um, anti-depressant? I could put you through to someone on that. Okay. Hello, Angela. Phyllis, you look like you're gonna have a heart attack. Can I get a list of your vendors? I shredded it. Why would you do that? Gosh, I just don't know. Why do you think? Sorry. All right, we're here for Daryl and his band. You know what? Let's also give a shout out to Phyllis for this awesome party, huh? Hey, Probably the best one that we have ever had. Yeah. Right? Yes, Phyllis. But the real reason. Well, I hope 
you had fun today because you're never ever throwing a party again. Party planning's a real high, like a runner's high. Angela, you'll go to the supermarket and get the New York cheesecake. Make sure it's the generic one. It's Stanley's favorite. Yes, uh, I've replaced Angela as head of the party planning committee. I guess I was just in the right place at the right time. Is this it? I mean, is this two bowls of M&Ms and some balloons? This, you know what, Phyllis? I think you need to step it up. I think you need to get the lead out because if I'm not mistaken, we gave you your wedding shower here. We all came into this room and gave you a golden shower. Well, you know what? Where's my golden shower, Phyllis? I do enjoy being the head of the party planning committee. I'm no longer under Angela's heel, and her little grape head is hey, under hey. mine. What are you doing? Don't talk to them. I'm sorry. Make the party. Don't make the party, please, Phyllis. Pump it! Hey, Phyllis. Do I need this invite to get into the party? Yes. Awesome. I think this is going to be the best Christmas party ever. Angela, you're gonna move this for the party, right? It's not on theme. It's the nativity scene. All right. You can keep your camel, sheep, elephant, and the North African king can stay. Everything else goes in the drawer. I am not going to judge Phyllis for desecrating Christmas. There is one person who will, though, and Phyllis just stuffed him into a drawer. I need you to get rid of the tree. But, but thank no. you. Oh, I don't think it's blackmail. Angela just does what I ask her to do, so I won't tell everyone that she's cheating on Andy with Dwight. I think for it to be blackmail, it would have to be a formal letter. It looks like we're gonna be here for a while, so why don't you make a little plate of hummus for everyone? Little triangles of pita, toasted on both sides, fanned so you can easily grab them. I know. And napkins, fanned. Please stop making me do these things. Oh, sorry, it's your job. But it's the season of mercy. You never showed me mercy when you were in charge. Why aren't you wearing the hairnet? I lost it. Fine. Okay. Nice. That's a halwa shabakia cookie. They serve it during Ramadan. Mm. I need you to put the Christmas tree back up. It's outside. I didn't ask you where it was. I told you where it needs to be. Shut up. Excuse me. I'm not moving the tree. Face it. The only power you have over me is this little secret that I know you're not going to tell. Oh, and you want to know how I know that? Because then you won't be able to plan your stupid tacky parties anymore. So you move the tree. Angela's having sex with Dwight. I caught them doing it after Toby's going away party. Well, don't look so surprised. All right, everybody's still here. Perfect. Got a little surprise I've been working on. Angela, my bride, I just wanted you to know that for the rest of our lives, no matter the cultural milieu, I will always be there to bring you some Christmas cheer. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Dawn, we now are gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Troll the little old Yuletide carol. 
I think I'd like to go home now. Sure. Ugh, tough room. <laughs> Come on, I just learned it. Just so you know, protocol is a little round of applause, but... Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night!